Hey everyone, Leo with Dreaming Tree and welcome to the assembly video for our photo ornament. I thought it'd be a great idea to make one of these because, uh, well, first off it's flat, which means you can mail it very easily. And I think it's a cute little gift to send for the holidays. Everyone has a Christmas tree up and you can take a little photo of a family member, let's say a newborn baby maybe and do up one of these cute little ornaments in no time at all, send it out, and uh, it'll make a great addition to anyone's uh, Christmas tree this year. So let's just hop right into it. It's a very simple little piece, will not take long at all. Uh, we do have a little video that shows you how to use the little template to cut out a perfect little photo, uh, but let's, let's just get into it here. Okay, so this is, our, this is what I would call the main structure here. We have this little piece that's gonna go on the back. You can write something on here if you'd like. Um, maybe the name of the person, the date of the photo or the year, uh, or a little message, whatever you wanna do. So we're gonna glue that to the back. Let's get going with that. Go easy on the glue here. We don't need a lot. And just try to make sure that you get a little bit of glue on each of these each of these little guys here and maybe a little bit in the middle and just do your best to get that nice and aligned. The little hole and the holly leaves, they're going to be the same size so that should match up perfectly while in here you're going to have an even border all the way around so just be conscious of that. Okay and press that down <clears throat> nice and easy. And you may need to kind of nudge these little leaves here a little bit just to get them in place correctly. Okay, and then we'll flip it over and we have this element that's gonna go right on top like so. We wanna make sure that we also get that nice and centered. Okay, so let's get our glue going on the back of this. It's a great time to get out your favorite Christmas papers that you have in your stash and put them to use. It's a very quick little project, not much to it. Okay, so again, match up the little hole for the string or, or the ribbon, and then make sure that this is nice and centered at the bottom, and then just press the rest of it down with a nice even border all the way around. There we go, very cute. Now on this piece here, this green piece, this green pattern, it's very tough to see in the video, but we do have a series of little score marks. Uh, there's one here, one here, one on the left, one on the right, and then there's one on the bottom, and that is to help you with the alignment of the photo, just to make sure that we get that centered. Um, I printed this out on some photo paper. You could probably do it on some cardstock too. Uh, I prefer the photo paper, it just looks a lot nicer. Uh, pardon my phone here for a second. I just want to make sure that I get this centered and aligned correctly. There it is. Okay, perfect. And press that down. So the photo is going to go flat on the ornament like so. Okay, and then we have this little piece here that we're going to assemble and then we're going to pop dot this to create a nice little beautiful frame around our adorable little baby here. Okay, so let's take and I've got this is a white glitter that I inked with a little bit of turquoise. And we're gonna take and apply our glue to this guy and then glue that down onto our gold piece. You wanna make sure that you match up the little circles and the little points and then also the little circle inside should match up as well. So just kinda nudge that around until you have a nice even gold border all the way around. Okay, looking good. Very simple little project, but super adorable. Anybody in your family is gonna love receiving one of these. Okay, all right, so now I've got that and I'm gonna take some foam squares. We'll flip, flip this thing over and just begin applying foam squares. Since this is an ornament and we want it to stand the test of time, I am going to be generous 
with the foam squares. You could probably get away with using half of these if you want to, um, you know, just be frugal with your resources. But I think this will just, that's, I mean, maybe 10 cents worth of foam squares, not a big deal. Okay, and then when we apply this, we wanna make sure that we keep one of the little circles at the bottom. Okay, so like this, and of course you wanna make sure you get it centered over your photo. Pardon my head here. Okay, so finally we have our little poinsettia that we're going to attach to the top. Now what you can do is you can take and just kind of pinch the tip of this to give it a little bit of dimension. Okay, you just kind of crease it down the center. And that's, it'll make it kind of pop a little bit more so it's not so flat. Okay. And what we're gonna do with the larger leaves at the bottom, okay, we're gonna take and we're gonna glue that right down to the center here, right about here. Just throw a little dot of glue right there and pop that into place. Make sure it's nice and nice and level, nice and upright. Just take a look at that. Make sure it's nice and centered. Okay, there we go. And that'll leave plenty of room to get your, um, your little string in there or some ribbon, whatever it is you wanna use. And then as far as the poinsettia goes, we're actually gonna use a foam square to pop dot this. But to give this some dimension, just like we did with the leaves, if you take and just kind of pinch, I'm using these two fingers to kind of um, stabilize it and using my pointer finger to press down to kind of curve it a little bit. And then as it begins to curve, you can take and then just pinch the tip. Okay, you can do that for all of them. And that's gonna give this a little bit of dimension as well. When we do that, not only does it bring it to life dimensionally, but when the light hits it, you start to see really nice um, shadows and highlights that really bring out the dimension in this little flower. Okay, so we'll do the same thing with the remaining layers. Very simple. Okay, and if you don't pinch it perfectly down the middle, it's not a big deal. Take a little bit of glue, throw it right in the center, grab your next layer. So we're starting with the largest layer then going to the smaller layer. And actually what you can do too, is take and kind of bend these up a little bit. Okay, and then you wanna offset these so they're not right on top of each other. You want each of these little petals to, well, have its own little space. Okay, and then we can take this last one, give it a little pinch and a little fold. Now, if you are having a hard time getting it folded because it's so small, you can kind of take uh, take a little bone folder or something and almost like create your own little score line by pressing down right in the center of it. That will kind of disrupt whatever's going on with those fibers in the paper and make it a lot easier to fold right at that crease. And you see how easy and quick that was. Okay, so we'll take this one and we're gonna glue it right down to the existing layer. Just a small little dot of glue. And again, offset it. So when I say offset, this is right on top of it. Rotate it a little bit. So it's offset. And each of the little petals is getting its own space. Okay, make sure it's nice and centered as well. And if mine is not. <laughs> there we go, much better. <clears throat> and there's our beautiful poinsettia. You can uh, adorn this by putting a little rhinestone in the center, which I'm gonna do. I got a whole bunch of little pearls and rhinestones that I'm gonna use on my project here. Perfect little spot to put them uh, on this glitter. And of course, in the middle of the flower, um, you can put whatever you want on this, wherever you want, just make it your own. The more bling, the merrier, I think, especially since this is gonna be an ornament on a tree, you really want to attract some attention to it. Okay, and then we'll take our beautiful little poinsettia and I'm gonna position it so that one of the tips of the petals is pointing up like that. Okay, and there you have it, beautiful. So that's it for this one, guys. Uh, again, take a look for that video that shows you how to use the little template for the photo. Um, go wild 
with your uh, embellishments. Have fun with it. And uh, don't forget to put your little ribbon through the little hole here so that your recipient can hang it. But that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please take a moment and visit us on YouTube. Hit that subscribe button. We just hit 50,000 uh, subscribers recently, and that's, that number's climbing rapidly, so I hope you join us there. And if you make this or anything from our festive ornaments bundle, I'd love to see it, and so would the rest of our community. So head over to your Facebook and do a search for Dreaming Tree Official, or you can type in this little URL here at the bottom of your screen. So anyway, happy ornament making, and as always, I look forward to crafting with you again. Hey, thanks for crafting along with me. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out some of our other videos, and also please consider hitting that subscribe button. And don't forget to visit our site and check out our free SVG section where we have over 140 free SVG files complete with assembly videos. I look forward to crafting with you soon.